Karen, hi. Hello, Stephen. I'm good. It's been quite a long time, hasn't it? Yes, I'm happy to see you again. Yes, me too. Okay, so um, I've had a quick look at this NGU article. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks for your um, that you previously saw my me message, and yes, uh, I chose this topic because I um, I was thinking about practicing more listening, and when I saw an article in this kind of article, I, th I thought it's a it's an interesting conversation. Um, yeah. By the way, okay. Stephen, uh, let me ask you again. I say, I, if I'm not wrong, I ask in the previously lesson. I ask, I asked you if it, do you mind if I save this video and publish as a. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. That's no my problem. Hair's, my hair's a bit bad though. I've got a bit of a bad hair day. <laughs> No worries, no worries. My face not so my face not so good because it's my it's early for me. <laughs> it looks it looks amazing. It looks, it looks beautiful. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay. Okay. So... Well, I actually found something else which you might might be more you yeah? might find more interesting. Yeah. So let's have a let's have a look at this. Instead. Okay. Well, well, we can look at the article quickly if you, if you want. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the article quickly. It's just, it's a short one. So. Okay. It won't take long. Sorry. <clears throat> really, um, if, if you want to improve your listening skills, very simply, read more. Read more. Because mm -hmm. you know? um, I may have explained this to you before, but um, there's two sides to the to skills. There's productive and receptive. So productive is speaking and writing. So okay. speaking is like writing. Okay, because you you have to think of what to say. You make the language, but listening and reading it's been made for you. Uh -huh. You just have to read it or hear it. Okay, so that's in terms of your brain, what your brain's doing when you're listening. You're do, it's doing what you're, when you're reading, it's doing the same thing as when you're listening. It's, it's slightly different, but yeah. So if you have you want to improve speaking skills, spending time trying to write sentences, that helps your brain produce language as well and you can think faster than you can speak so you can do and, and do you think reading out loud is better is better well you, whether you're reading out loud or in your head as long as you if you actually in your head you are vocalizing the, the words mm -hmm. so you, you could you can do it in your head and and make and think of the sounds okay but if you're reading out loud okay you get, you are hearing it as well, so you don't. You can read out loud, but it not, not necessarily. But not you can, necessary. Okay. You know, so some people, when I speak, I see the words in my head. Mm. Other people, they don't do it. They don't, they don't so much. So um, it depends on you. You may find it easier to to do it out loud. Yeah, or watching videos with subtitles or without. Anyhow, we'll we'll go through the different. Um strategies but let's let's go for the ngu first very simply the ngu article gives you two two ways but i've got something that has eight ways so, eight ways oh that's nice if you have okay. more please show me <laughs> yeah okay so here, here's the, here's the article here so um so it talks about educational videos like from the ted the ted talks really good resource and it says listen to audiobooks and there's two ideas there yeah okay? i love TED, so, ted talks they are amazing they're very very fantastic people and they're always very interesting aren't they? the the topics and discussions so there we are so that's that one so i think let's, let's look at my the other one i found it's from fluent you it's another it's, i think it's an american company but it's a fantastic um resource to support your learning as well so let's have a, a butchers at this oh um uh, sorry, Stephen. I am seeing. I'm seeing my camera. Some something like blur. It's okay for you. Can you see me well? Yeah, I, I'm. Like I'm seeing myself. Like I'm like seeing myself. 
yeah. I see myself. I think my window is yeah. Ah, okay, okay. It's, I know it, what's I, happened. I know what's yeah. happened. <laughs> oh, I can see. Yeah, it's back. It's fine. That, okay. There's a sham shine. Let me do. If I can. It's, it's a, a, a glare. Ah, okay, okay. Now, now, now I know. Okay. Uh, call so. it a, a glare. The glare. <laughs> on the okay, okay. okay. I, so I was is, thinking. I was thinking. Oh my God. Um, I'm disappearing in this video. Let me check if Stephen can see me. Yeah, I know. Well, I will. I will uh, fix after. But you can see me quite good. In Q, you can hear me. We can continue. It's absolutely fine. So mm -hmm. this is a kind of general. Uh, it talks generally about listening practice here. Ah, fluent so you, fine. fluent you. Okay. So. Uh, we need to mix in some create spirited creativity into our ESL listening activities, especially for adults, where it takes more, sometimes it takes more to entertain you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And hopefully you'll learn better when you're interested and engaged. Okay. So uh, it just expands a bit more on the importance of it here. But let's go to the, the, the different. Uh-huh activities so there we go so number one quite simple just wa watching youtube clips or watching whole movies and tv shows so i don't know if you want to read it or i'll or just read it in yes. your head but i mean there's not much to it it's just it's exposing yeah. you to the language. watch watch movies for me is hard it's too, it's too hard because people having a conversation speak so quickly and they use um too much expressions do you use the subtitles uh yeah so yes i have to use subtitles without subtitles i can't understand nothing and that's uh, i mean feel so tired to try to guess what the talk <laughs> I think that's fine. I think some people say don't put the subtitles, but no, I, think I... I think it's fine. Okay. So, okay. Um, you might find it slightly um, easier to, to watch short clips from movies rather than watching the whole film. And then maybe you could build up to watching a whole film. Okay. That's the reason the article mentioned big short clips of mm. movies, not entire movie. <laughs> Okay. But eventually you could, you could try that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a TV show, it's only 30 minutes, you know? Yes. You 30, try, 30 you minutes try, is too long. You try, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or you could try children's shows. So the language might be a bit easier. Um, I, I'm starting to put my listening. Um, see, watching a uh, um, cartoon for kids. Yeah, I mean, you could do. I mean, you might find that slightly easier for for kids. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I'd, I'll do it watching, for example, Becky Becky Hartigan's to. Uh... Oh, Peppa Pig or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh Peppa Pig. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So the next one is mm -hmm. just it. Well, it, this it is an article on fluent use, so maybe we could skip this one. So. You, okay. Using the content on Fluent You is an idea, but then they're just trying to sell their own website. Uh, sorry, what what means uh, authentic content? It just means using the resources on this. Oh, website. okay, okay. Specifically, just okay. They recom they recommend their website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have, they take they take real world videos. It says here music music videos movie trailers news or inspiring talks and they turn them into personalized language learning lessons so you could try some of the ones on fluent you okay we could we could run through one of the lesson plans on here one time if mm -hmm. you wish some examples there okay. um just explaining how their things work yeah we'll skip through there okay Watching the news channel, which is a good one. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Especially the, the way that news people speak is a particular way. But new broadcasters, they have a very deliberate way of speaking and they <laughs> and there's mm -hmm. a lot of repetition. Mm -hmm. It's a 
which is well, they use received pronunciation really news mm. presenters like tv show you know, like game show hosts the way they talk they say they keep repeating things more than they need to to make sure people are heard oh, so mm -hmm. it's actually it could be a good way of practicing do you know what i mean so you know so they'll, they'll say they keep they keep repeating the same thing so uh, if you've not if you've not heard it the first time you'll probably hear it said again mm -hmm. So now, now, now I understand why uh, BBC.com, uh, they the website BBC uh, to um, they learn English, they learn they teach they teach they teach English as with some short videos from made um, with, with real um, short movie from newspaper from new news from the news channels yeah N yes yeah. from news channels they they choose someone and they they, mm. they try to um uh, words that is and, and the, the 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 real situations or the real uh how can i explain yeah i think that's the, that's the advantage of it is that it's um it's very up to date so you're up to date yeah yes so if you want to have a conversation Top, with another, topics. Mm -hmm. it's, it gives you things that you can speak about. Yeah. Yes. And there's, of course, um, number four, they're using music. Music. This makes it, oh, this okay. makes it a lot easier. So, <clears throat> but listening to music uh, helps with vocabulary memorization. If you've got the rhythm, it helps it easier. And English is spoken in a rhythm as well. So it, it definitely supports that aspect. So, um, so there are different ways of doing it. They're, they're talking about how to do it in a whole classroom. You know, mm -hmm. but, uh, I'm sure there are other ways we could think of. Do you have a playlist for the uh, the, the best songs for learn English to learn English? I don't really have. Um, I don't. This is not something I really I've really used before. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, um, but I think maybe with kids, perhaps maybe singing songs for very young you learn as well like three or four years old i may have done more of um but here's, here's the idea so what you would do is you'd split into groups and try and write your own songs so that's right, something you can try and write so you, uh, you, sometimes you try i write try it poem. <laughs> yeah and write, write a song maybe a poem possibly um it's, it's an idea. actually we, we actually find, one we could we could just find we could make our own so you could just f find a song okay this is um something you might like a, have a go at actually uh, let me show you it, it, it's it's you know it, yeah let's have a look um <laughs> it's called lyrics training now you might it might work for you one i want to when i want to memorize when i want to learn some even portuguese um i'm used to listen the song and try to write down so let's have a look at this now i've used this i i, I have used this with adult students as well as children so mm -hmm. um depends the thing is that you're going to pick a song and you're going to learn the song but you might you might okay you might encounter different but well the language is used completely differently in music lyrics so uh -huh. yeah it definitely yeah. Will enrich your Oh, so yeah, yeah, and your vocab, and you'll, mm -hmm. you'll see the different grammars used kind of incorrectly, but with poetic license, so it's okay. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. The most, the most of them, they, they missing some grammar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is. The thing is, with this site, sometimes it doesn't work that well. Sometimes it, it freezes. It just means huh. you have to start again. Ah, so. I think I know this this website. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, because I <clears throat> someone sh shared with me a uh, a website that you can. It's like a karaoke. You can sing, and you have to match the, the, the. You can sing uh, while you are reading the the the, 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 the subtitles. Like a, yeah, a, so a carol. You, 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 well, you could sing along. The, the point here is, uh, well, let, let me show you. Okay. Okay. So let's find a, a song. 
Like it's Christmas, let's do Christmas. Oh yeah, because you are the Christmas. Season. Okay, so easy. Uh huh. Let's what is translate. Uh, well, no, I'm not sure. I have, I have, I know this website because I'm, I'm seeing karaoke in the bottom. Okay, no expert, no, please, Stephen. <laughs> You don't it have will to be a hard, a hard level. <laughs> what did I do, expert? No, that's every single word. Okay. Yes, I think I played. I played this. This. You think so? Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Let's we'll try the intermediate one. You sure? So. You can complete the gap. Yes, you have to to complete the words. Yeah. Fill the exactly. words on, on, on the gap. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. You think you've done this one, yeah? But it's, it's just something mm -hmm. you can use. I think it's, mm -hmm. I think it's quite, quite good. Okay. Okay, fair play. Well, let, let's, do uh, do, do you know speak later. Spanish? A little. Un poco. <laughs> Un poco, pero no mucho. <laughs> So, yeah, so this is how it works. You've got you hit the word and put it in. Ah, mm, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. You remember this, yeah? Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. I play it. I play it just. Okay, that's enough of that then. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Thanks. our, back to Fluent You. Okay. Else, now the, now the, the Shan uh, go, goes, the Shans go. Uh, the glare. Declare, yes. It's it's my morning almost right now it's eight a AM. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, we're not that far apart, it's only four hours. It's twelve o'clock here. Uh, so it's only four hours different. I thought it'd be more. Four hours. Okay. Oh uh, you you have lunch after our our lesson. Well, I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna work for the next four hours. Mm. I, might, I might have something to eat after. Mm. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I had some breakfast earlier. No, it's okay. Um, Got to get the uh, those pennies rolling in, you know. Okay, it's a nervous play, role play. Okay. Role plays. Now this is good. So we can do this. We can do role plays mm -hmm. over the family calls. We can come up with, we can come up with different scenarios and act them out and you've probably done role plays within Cambly classes before we can just make up our own scenarios and try and act them out in mm -hmm. real world situations or working environments you know yeah that's something we can certainly do yeah um, ingo has ingo has um oh again uh how can i say this kind of exercise a role play yeah, I'm sure there are plenty of different places we can find source materials. Okay, so that's a, that's a good one. We can definitely do that. Um, role plays. Um, read aloud in class. This is definitely good, reading aloud. So when we're doing Engu, mm -hmm. like I read a paragraph, then you read it afterwards. Or if you get something more complicated that you couldn't really read on your own, but I, I would read it all the way through myself. I know you, maybe you get a sense of it and then we can do like a comprehension and a few questions to see if you have understood some of the basic context and we can maybe go through the transcript and learn all the new all the different words that you haven't seen before mm -hmm. so reading aloud is really good as well to when you're uh reading aloud is an oldly but good good I, I i can old, say it's, it's all it's old but good old Okay, but uh, they say it's it's oldly good good and good. An, an old oldie or a goodie, a D I E, an oldie or a goodie. So it's just it's kind of um, yeah. I mean, it's it's just a, a word we use a lot. It's, that's pretty much. I mean, say that's slang, actually, oldie. Um, Ah, okay. Saying, okay. You find it in the dictionary. It's, it ends hard to pronounce. Oddly, oddly. But we do say that often re re related to music. You know, a song that's from fifty years ago. It's an oldie, but a goodie. 
just because just so it rhymes basically okay um, i mean you could put it with a y i mean i would write it with a y like double d y okay right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah it's funny when i got to my i went to a, a normal state school up to age 11 and then i went to a, a fee-paying private school okay so okay. people who are called like oliver or alistair you know for short they're called ali or ollie okay and for me, it's always O double L Y, but these guys would write their name O L I and A L I, and I'm like, it's not right. It's not right. It's but, not um, right. But yeah, so I, I don't like this either. I would probably write O L D D Y for Holden, but yeah. anyway, it doesn't matter. So there are different ways of doing these activities. Mm -hmm. um, yep, yeah, few activities. So yeah. Just listening to me reading it is worthwhile as well. All right, next one. So we've got two more to look at. Yeah. So number seven, embed questions into TED Talks or YouTube videos. Now this is something that will require a bit of uh, doing something by me. So the idea is I'd cut the video, but I would actually implant, a, a, you know, pause the video and put a question in and we could answer a question. So, but we don't need, to, all we need to do is watch the, watch the video and we pause it and I ask you a question to see if you've understood the previous passage. Mm, uh -huh. so that's something we can do. There's a, a really good website actually, which um, uses TED Talks to make lesson plans it's called Lingua House. I think it's the best type for business type kind of lesson plans. So it has a whole section on TED Talks. So we could do TED Talks lessons. So it's it basically you do a warm up and do some vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you, you have like, you watch a bit of the video, then you have some comprehension questions, then you have like more questions that you try and predict the, what's going to be in the rest of the video. It's open. It's a, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it, it, it's mostly free. Uh, some of the stuff you have to be subscribed to see the material. Mm -hmm. but most, there's enough on there that's free to make it worthwhile. But the, the discussion and the video is free. So yeah, it, it, it's from you. They're all on YouTube. So, Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I will search. I will yeah, try. So we can we can try some of those lesson plans as well. Um, they're quite good. They always they have the transcripts as well, so you can go through it in detail. Yeah, it's, the it's, it's quite interesting. YouTube. It's they they made our wonderful things. Uh, put um, these transcriptions. Even it's not so uh, clear. Even it's not so real. Uh, but the most time help me a lot. Mm, yeah. Yes. So, um, what was I going to say about this? Um, yeah. So lingua house, I mean, if you want access to all the material, you pay like $50 for an annual membership, but there's an, as I said, there's enough that's free to use that. You know, uh, okay. You okay. Need to do that. Mm -hmm. But you might want to, you might want to subscribe to get all of the material, but, uh, so it's something you, you can use as a teacher and a student. So you can mm. sign up as a student or as a teacher. So. Yeah, right, right now I'm just using angle.com. Yeah, and you ha you ha you can pay uh, to, to become a member, but for me it's enough, the, ma the free material. And then you check Lingua, Lingua House. Yes, specifically if you're looking at kind of business lessons it's, it's much better for business lessons i think nice yeah. nice tip okay and, uh, down so the we one. have one more the last and one play with this i think this is like um what well, the the lyrics training thing i just showed you play what, with ESL. Mean, what mean esl english as a second language ah Really? <laughs> yeah. English second language. Yeah. Okay. So it advertises iTunes speech tutor, or you can buy it on iTunes. Okay. So actually, um, it sounds great. It's only ten quid. So the app students listen to and see exactly how the sound is made by watching a virtual mouth say it. This app helps with improving clarity of sounds and fluency of words while developing a, a natural accent. Well, I can do that with you. I can do that. I don't, you don't need a virtual 
guy to do that. But yeah, it's <laughs> something you could do if you, if you don't have access to a teacher mm -hmm. yeah. on, on your own. <clears throat> what else do they have? Learn English, hello, hello. Okay, Google Play. They obviously have an established uh, relationship with these companies so they can sell their stuff, I guess. Okay, so there you are. And um, going to live in England for five years, that would help too. Sorry, could you? Uh, I was That's reading. Good. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. And going to live in the UK for five years, that would help. As well. Ah, okay. Five years. Five years. Of... <laughs> or, yeah, it's I'm, a long I'm time. Yeah. No, well, no. Really, because it's, it's worth mentioning immersion is the best way. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. totally agree. And in 2020, 2015, I moved to Ireland to have this kind of immer immersion. I, think, I, do, I, do, I think I remember you, you had, you mentioned that before, I think, yeah. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, I, I'm Ireland, amazing, yeah. I live, I live there three, but just three months. Three months, it's nothing. <laughs> you can practice too much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you could yeah. pretty much. You could, in three months, you could avoid speaking English altogether. Ah, uh, yes. I, I would like to plan one year at least. And as you said, as you said right now, five years. Okay, it's a long time, but I think five years, um, good, good immersion. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I was joking. I mean, a, a six months to a year is, is pretty yes. much. No, no, I, I'm agree. Even one year, it's. It, it's almost it's too it's almost nothing <laughs> well it depends what you're doing i mean if you're if you're there for three months but you spend the entire time either in a work that, that's that's school. the problem stephen that's yeah. the problem yeah i know i don't keep fluent or a hundred percent all my time just to speak english i know <laughs> yeah yeah okay so um well that's the end of the Fluent You article. So really, um, if you want to improve your listening skills, um, l listen more and read more. <laughs> oh. It's a question of practice, really. Um, there's lots, of course, people always try and come up with new ways and different ways of doing it. Whatever one of those eight methods you try, it's just uh -huh. about practicing. Yes. One, one thing that... One the, main thing... the main thing that people don't like hearing is not that um, insightful, to practice every day. If you practice every day, it doesn't mm. really matter what kind of practice you're doing. Yeah. If you do it every day, you're gonna you're gonna get better. Really. Yes. And that's the difficulty that people find because you have a job, you know, dedicating one whole hour a day to English practice will so, mean you improve quickly, but it's not possible always to dedicate that. Even if you schedule it in, so things happen and you emergencies happen. So but just do as much as you can. Really. Yes, I so, have. I have. Cambly helped me to have this kind of conversation to practice a little bit more my pronouns, but I have to do the balance with. I have balance with reading and listening as well. Don't forget about writing, as well. Yeah, well, writing. Yes. So this is something maybe you could do. Spend this maybe spend 10, 15 minutes before you go to bed, and just like keep a diary and just write what you did that day. A diary, good, good. Yeah, um, and it might be you might, could have other benefits of keeping a daily diary instead of just in general life, you know. Okay, let, let me tell one thing. I, I we, we just have a less than one minute, and uh, I have a friend, I have a partner here in Brazil, it's a Brazil, it's a um, Brazilian as well. And we're trying to do a podcast in English to practice our conversation. Wow. And it's a, just right now, it's just idea. We hadn't, we, we don't, we don't have anything yet, but it's a, it's a, it's a, our project. It's an inspiring project that we have to create mm -hmm. a podcast, to practice uh, conversation, pronunciation, okay. and a lot of things. Great. That sounds great. Well, if you need a teacher, mm -hmm. I'll, 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 that sounds great. Okay, okay. Oh, just 10 seconds. Uh, Stefan, uh, lovely lesson. Thanks a lot for this. Your, your good tips. And see you on the next. 
Is that, and we see another class on Thursday, is it? Yeah. Thursday, great. See you then.